Welcome back to Talking Dragon Age, the show where I talk about Dragon Age. Last episode was pretty heavy, so I want to go with something a bit simpler this time. So today we're talking about the mighty Vartero. The Vartero is a huge, bug-like thing that stands on five legs, has a thin body with a head and two small arms. Despite its size, it is very, very fast. We only ever see them in close quarters, but I dread to think how fast these things could move in an open field. It can also jump very high due to its powerful legs. Now, Vartaros only appear in the main series three times. The first is in Witch Hunt in the Dragonbone Wastes. I'll talk more about each of these in a bit. The second one we actually encounter twice. The first time is during Meryl's quest to obtain the Ruin Home, where we find that the Vartaral has killed four Dalish hunters. We slay it, but encounter it again three years later while looking for Zevron. Hawk asks why it's still alive, and Meryl says, it was bound here. So long as it has something to guard, duty will force it to stay alive. The most recent time of Arteral appears in the main series is in the Masked Empire. The really short version is that the party goes through an alluvian and ends up in an ancient Delvin temple of sorts. Then the Vartaral defending the place crashes through the ceiling. I feel like if I was bound to defend a place, I wouldn't collapse in the ceiling for any reason. This one is different than the others encountered in the games. This one's outer skin is like solid rock. Swords and arrows just bounce off it. The others were made from wood. This one also had no eyes. It was only able to locate people by feeling the ground, so when the party stood on benches and stuff, it couldn't find them. The party killed it by attacking its underside, which was a far softer material. On the others, we see that same kind of thing. Now let's talk about how they work. The one encountered in the Dragonbone Wastes was especially vicious. Arianne didn't even think they were real, but according to legend, they shouldn't have attacked elves, meaning something must have provoked it. Now I want to bring up the fact that the Vartaral was strangely missing during our first visit to the Wastes and Awakening. It's especially odd because that's where the Mother had made her base. I would assume the Darkspawn just kept killing it again and again. And it's possible that during this time, the Vartaral contracted the taint, explaining its vicious behavior. In DA2, Meryl says the Vartaral shouldn't have attacked elves, and that something must have provoked it to attack the Dalish. We still don't know exactly what that was. Maybe one of the hunters got jumpy and attacked it by mistake? That seems unlikely, but possible. Or the elves did something they weren't supposed to do. Perhaps taking an artifact that belonged there, or maybe disregarding a ritual that the Vartaral assumed they should have known about. I don't really know. The point is that it does attack the elves when they enter that cave but it doesn't seek them out on the outside. Vartarals are bound to defend certain places or objects. They do so even when the place is no longer standing. This Vartaral was most likely protecting the mountain, as it did have historical significance to the elves. But let's take some time to talk about their origin. The tale is outlined in the Dragon Age 2 Codex, where it basically says that the first was created by Durthamin before the days of Arlathen, when a high dragon settled in the mountains near a city of his worshippers. The citizens begged him to protect them, and according to legend, he whispered to the mountains and the fallen trees of the forest gathered into shape, the Vartaral. The Vartaral battled and defeated the High Dragon and became the eternal defender of Durthamin's beloved city. Even after the Empire crumbled and the citizens abandoned their city, the Vartaral kept to its duty. And even to this day, the Vartaral continues to guard the land where the city once stood. Given what we know about the ancient elves now, I can totally believe most of this. Maybe not the whispering to the mountains part, but Durthamin creating the Vartaral to defend his city from a high dragon? Sounds totally believable. After his first success, I could see him and the other Evanuris creating them to defend their most sacred places. Now where this city was is anyone's guess. It's possible it was on Sundermount, but we can't really say for sure. It could have been anywhere. But we should talk a bit about how they are bound. Keeping to their duty even after what they defended is long abandoned? Well, it reminds me of the spirits we encounter in Fenharel's refuge in Trespasser. Though Cole has this to say about them. The guardian spirit stayed, not bound, but biding, because he asked. He knows how to speak, so spirits listen. So either the Vartarals do their thing for similar reasons, or they were actually properly bound. That may assume the Vartarals are spirits bound to the bug-like body. I'm not sure what else they could be. Even in the days before the Veil, you couldn't just create life. They would be similar to a golem, except without lyrium. 
Of course, that's just conjecture. I'm just going off what we've been told so far. I could be totally wrong. It's possible the Vartarals just existed the same as any other animal. But that doesn't really explain their biology. They definitely seem fabricated. So I think that's about it. One thing I want to mention is that there wasn't one in the Temple of Mathal, despite the clear significance. I mean, this temple was a big deal. There was the Well of Sorrows and several alluvians. Not to mention all the other stuff. The reason for this is probably just because Mathal didn't think it necessary at the time. She had elven defenders, and she didn't really think anyone would invade until it was too late. Or maybe there was one there, but the other Evanuris knew how to destroy it permanently. We'll probably encounter one in the future, maybe in another ancient ruin defending an artifact that Solus wants or that we need to stop him. Maybe he's already there and you're trying to stop him, but the places Varteral ignores him but attacks you? Ooh, maybe you need to turn it against him somehow. Of course, maybe none of that happens. Maybe it's just an inconsequential fight during a side quest. Oh, maybe Tevinter killed one and captured it before it revived, and are now holding it for study. Or maybe even the Canari are the ones doing that. I could totally buy either of them being that heartless and stupid. But that's all speculation. I'll be amazed if any of that happens. The point today is that the Varterals are ancient guardians similar to Golems in that they're constructs. But they aren't given life by Lyrium. Rather, they're probably possessed by a spirit bound to the service of whomever made it. Or maybe the origin of their life is something we don't know is possible yet. And finally, I hope we encounter one in the future. Which, as I say it, I realize is a weird thing to hope for. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember, Tala Nadas. Thank you.